What up? I'm at the receiver, my last one. Uh, doesn't feel any different, you know? Um, I don't know, man, when I was younger, I used to get real excited about Christmas for me, you know? I'd be like, oh my God, I got wonder what I got. And now it's a different kind of excitement because I'm excited for my kids, like, cause I know what my kids got, you know? And it, it's, uh, if you got kids, are you, I don't know, it's, an, it's another level of excitement, right? It's just, you know, your kids are gonna love a lot of the shit that you got them, right? And you just can't wait to see their faces light up when uh, they finally open up those gifts. That's what I feel, that's the kind of excitement I have. Um, it's like I can keep it under wraps, you know? It's not fucking pouring out of me or radiating off me like it would if I was excited about Christmas for me, like when I was a kid. So, uh, my arm still kind of hurts. Uh, it's the weekend, I haven't really been able to do anything with that claim yet, so I'll probably do that Monday morning. Uh, after I drop this load, I'll be on the yard uh, in Dallas, so I'll have plenty of clock to get back. If I, if I had known that I could have just shut down overnight here last night, I would have just drove it all the way in, because I totally probably could have made it uh, on my clock. I definitely would have been able to make it. So. Um, they have parking, it's a Kroger in Keller, Texas. They have parking for trucks. This guy is trying to get in here. He's about to run all up over this curb. I guess he's used to doing that. There's another entrance, dude, but whatever. You know, he got it, he got it. Uh, but yeah, so, sorry. I always get fucking sidetracked. I gotta stop putting pressure on my arm. It fucking hurts every now and then. Um, so I've been watching a lot of Prime videos, uh, kind of try to like learn more about how they do stuff, you know, cause I'm switching carriers and macros are going to be different. The way they operate is going to be different. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of like information over those three or four days I'm in orientation. I'm going to be taking notes like a mother. Uh, so I'm probably going to stock up on some actual notepads because I've been, I've been like using these. I really like these, these books, these little booklets that hold, uh, your stuff in it. They're nice, you know, they're waterproof, they're like a nice leather, but it's just gonna, that I can't, I can't be rolling around with that shit. You know, and then my, of course, I'm hoping that they'll give me a prime safety vest. I'm sure they will. Uh, if not, then I'll just have to buy like a reflective shirt or jacket or something in a, in a TA or whatever. And I know, no hippie truck is there. He would have bought the bright ass fucking shirts so that, you know, if he's a shippers and receivers, he can, try to avoid the yard dogs going 100 miles a fucking hour in the when they should you know whatever anyways uh but yeah watching all these fucking videos and shit man like one thing that i i've noticed that like almost every fucking one of them do it uh no hippie doesn't really do it too much which i that's why i think he's got the majority of the subscribers is because he doesn't have a fucking intro and i'll say that Every one of the intros that I've seen from them are entirely too long and entirely too loud. There was an intro on one video I remember watching where it was just like him driving from his dash cam or something. And I'm like, this is fucking boring. Like, make a video separate about you driving. You know, if you are you got a title to your video, keep your video to that. Don't make a long ass fucking intro with some fucking dubstep music in the background or some weird ass you know there's always like these you know and then and it's like and it's like dude i'm sitting there fucking like like tap and skip like you no hate i'm not trying to start no beef or anything but i mean stop it stop with the intros every fucking person has an intro and it's always changing like why are you putting all that effort in when you don't need it? Uh, you gotta you gotta point to because it's always like super loud dubstep fucking music or some weird ass fucking music like free ad free music or whatever. Uh, and then you know most of those are trash, uh, just you know catering to whatever. Anyways, that's most mostly I'm being biased and that's a personal opinion of mine. Like just hating that shit. But it's like dude, you don't have to do that. And it takes too long, right? And then I, I'm already not wanting to click. Like, if the if the topic of the title, like the title's topic was not engaging enough, I would have clicked off the video. Because I, at this point, watching Prime 
YouTubers. I'm trying to learn as much as I can before I get there. You know what I mean? And if I were just like perusing or browsing or whatever and I was trying to find a video to watch and I just clicked on one that was random, if it had that intro, I'd immediately stop watching. Um, so I don't know if any, any of them actually watch my channel, but um, that's just a, that's something, that's something that I'm not going to bring to Prime. I'm already, I'm, 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 let's do it like this. Let's talk about it like this. Uh, look at the Prime YouTubers versus the you, Stevens YouTubers. I was, e I was easily able to make my way towards the top of Stevens because nobody at Stevens does videos for them. They don't document their journey through Stevens. Not, there's not a lot of them. You, you go and like you're, every fucking YouTuber from Prime has at least like a thousand subs other than the ones that have just started a week ago and they're already catching up to me, right? So, uh, not, not all of them. There are some, you know, that aren't above a thousand, but a lot of them are above a thousand subs. Uh, so it's like, for trucking, that's decent. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm joining into a slew of other YouTubers that are going to be with Prime and I'm going to continue my journey through Prime and I'm going to, if you guys already know how real I am about shit, it's not going to change because I'm working for a different carrier. If something gets fucked up or whatever, I'm going to be just as unbiased and honest as I have been with Stevens. Uh, and obviously, if you guys watched any of my recent videos, I'm no stranger to like throwing them under the bus while I'm working for them, you know, or while I'm working with them because I'm a contractor technically, so I don't technically work for them. But uh, I am doing, I am exclusively contracted to do their loads in their, their lease vehicle. So it's not going to change when I'm with Prime. Um, and I'm just planning on continuing it to do it like that. But um, yeah, stop on the fucking intros, dudes. I mean, Jesus. They're, it's, <laughs> I'm going to just say one more thing. I'm sorry. I keep fucking bringing it up. But. It's like super fucking loud, right? And then all of a sudden it like cuts to them almost immediately and they're like sitting on a bed with their legs crossed or, or it's just like real low and you have to fucking turn your radio up or all your speakers up on your phone so you can actually hear what they're saying. God forbid you have fucking earbuds or a headset on. You fucking, they, and they always do this shit. We'll see what's up next. We'll see what's up next. You know, they're doing all this shit, and it's like, I think there was one video of this guy, every take, every time he talked about something new, he'd smack the camera, and he's right back where, exactly where he was. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Oh, God. I just, I thought it was fucking funny. You know, like, I, th I thought it was pretty funny to watch uh, that, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing, you know, like, I think, like, TikTokers fucking, like, 14-year-old girls do that shit, you know, like, I'm not dogging them, you know, I mean, I'm dogging them, but it's just, like, come on, dude, you don't gotta do all that, just talk about what you're talking about in the video, people are there to watch your video, I mean, maybe there's something, like, people are watching my videos, I think it's for the information, that's why I don't wanna upload no stupid-ass fucking videos that don't make a point or, you know, anything like that, uh, but people may just watch my videos just to see what I gotta say about anything. I could talk about thing, fucking dingleberries in one of my videos, and, and a lot of you guys might actually watch it. Like, my take on dingleberries, you know? Not pleasant, you know? Make sure you wipe front to back. Fucking uh, double check your work, you know? There's plenty of, plenty of fucking toilet paper out there. Just keep on wiping until you don't see nothing no more, you know what I mean? You won't get them. See? Boom, there we go. How many fucking viewers did I lose? No, I'm just kidding. I can't see that live anyways. But anyways, I'm sitting in this lot at the Kroger. Um, let me see. If I run, I really don't want her to talk, you know, because her fucking voice is annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and put in here where I'm going to go. And that is the Stevens Transport. It's 37 miles away. Which isn't bad. But I plan, right. I may... Then take the first left. I may end up fucking doing, uh, like going live while I'm on the yard today. I think I might have mentioned that. If not, uh, if I'm allowed to, I think you have to be, have a thousand subs or something. I don't, I'm not sure, but if I can, I'll definitely try to go live today on YouTube. Uh, and then like answer questions and just shoot the shit while I'm on the yard waiting for tomorrow to come because tomorrow is the day that I'm going to process out. So we get to the yard, I'm going to go to the safety lane. Uh, of course they're going to start sticking stickers on my truck and shit. And I'm going to tell them don't work on my truck overnight. 
I want to get all my stuff out of it tomorrow before I process out, and then they can work on it while I'm gone. You know what I mean? Uh, that'll most likely be where, where they hold my check. But, um, uh, and it's only to like ensure that um, I'm not in the hole with the repairs on the truck, which I need to go back through and look at my settlement and see how much money I have in my, uh, my maintenance account because it would work out really good if they didn't get to just pocket that money and it had to actually go towards the repairs on the truck. Uh, Cause I don't think I get that money back. I can't. I can't request that money back. So, anyways, uh, yeah. It, I don't want this video to be as long as all my other fucking videos are. But uh, yeah, I, I guess we'll see if I can go live today. I will, and it's a Sunday. So if you guys aren't doing shit, you know, you guys come in, ask questions, shoot the shit with me. We'll just hang out. I'll probably take you around the yard for one last run, and I'm definitely gonna shower tonight or tomorrow at the yard, and then. Uh, that's it, man. Remember, just ladies, love it, hate it, fucking ready to take care. And I'll see y'all another time.